and red. full submission. As a husband, Sam, are you? I do not permit. Are you? I, I do not you. permit a woman to I'm teach or to assume authority over a man. Are you a man? Are you a man? She must be quiet. Are you a man? Are you a man? For Adam, are you a man? for Adam, Adam, for Adam was, was told first, believe in Torah, then Eve, prophet, in and Jesus. Adam was not deceived. Then that narrative has it was the woman, the woman was deceived. So what is According it? to the Bible. So the woman deceived Adam? It was the woman who was deceived. So who deceived Adam? And became a sinner. Who deceived Adam? Oh. So Adam sinless? Was woman, Adam sinless? Was Adam sinless? Was Adam sinless? Was Adam sinless? Woman, it will only be saved. To that is why your Allah said to believe in the Torah, believe if in the Torah. Not only details, that, if they continue in faith, love, and, and holiness, be prior. That is why your Allah another said verse, another verse. standard narrative has hope. That is why you have to believe Genesis. in the Torah. Let's go to believe Genesis. Believe in the prophets. Believe in the Let's Jews. go to Genesis. Your Allah prays. You know Quran. what the Bible says about women. Allah the prays. Bible declares women. The woman in the Bible, there is no man, no female. The Quran of this woman. The Bible declares women. One more. Wow. As, what? Excuse me? Oh, no, don't, don't go away. Don't go away. Excuse me? Two don't women go away. in the Quran, it don't was go away. one man. That is why two women. Genesis. Your, your Muhammad said, Genesis women 16. are mind deficiency. Genesis 16. Is that not so? Women are mind deficiency according to your Muhammad. Genesis 16. And two women, weaknesses equals to one man. And there to are the more, woman. more women and in hell. Genesis. According to Muhammad, Genesis 360. There are more women in hell. To the woman, Why? he goes set. Because their mind deficiency. To the woman, he goes set. Because their mind deficiency, because they see their period. So your Allah, I make your, Allah your pains in childbearing very severe. I make your pain more in childbearing very severe. women are in hell because With painful mind labor, deficiency. You give back your to them. Muhammad your desire men will be for your husband. And women and two he will rule over you. It was one man. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. This one is painful. This one is painful. Zachariah. This is painful. Hold on. Zachariah. 49. Wait, wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Let me finish. Wait, wait. Let me finish. 49. 49. One more. She's going, she's going. Let me, let me finish it. Zechariah 14. I have a free will. Said women are not allowed to teach men. You want to have a dialogue with me now? Did you say women are not allowed to teach men? I know. You want to have a dialogue? Zechariah 2. Women are not allowed to teach. Don't touch. Women are allowed to teach. 14, 14. But now you want to have a dialogue with me, a woman. Praise the Lord. You should stop coming here. Jesus Christ. Every Sunday you come here. Every Sunday. Big mouth. Oh yes, oh yes, because standard narrative has the husband told. went to Africa, married her, brought her here, you as soon as he told the husband's house, she told the man out of the house. Jesus Christ out of That's why she comes here. Yes, That's what it comes here. This is the thing. Is that so? Come here all the time. Is that so? Where are your women? All the time. Where are your women? All the time you do every Sunday. We know. Standard narrative has hope. Wait, I'm coming here. Zakaria 14. Zakaria 14. 
13, 16 said, the people of Samaria must bear the people of Samaria must bear their guilt because they have rebelled against their God. They will fall by the sword. Their little ones will be dashed to the ground. Their pregnant women ripped open. So you can see this. They come here. They like attacking Islam, but they cannot defend. They haven't read their Bible. That's what they said. People who live in glass houses should not throw stones at other people. They live in glass houses. They attack, attack, they can't defend. You see, the Bible says that the woman is a transgressor. You see, she becomes so mortified there that she has to run away. This is the problem. Every week, this woman, every week, attacking Islam. So today, Alhamdulillah, a short Arab, so I had the Bible, passage from the Bible, where the Bible says that the woman is a transgressor. She shouldn't come here and speak. She should shut up her mouth. And that woman, will not only be saved through, through believing in Jesus Christ, but they will be saved through bearing children and they have to be holy. See, this is the thing. So, we come here every week. What we do, we come here to do our dawah, to, to call people to Islam. I've been coming here for four years now. And when I come here, my topic is all about the oneness of God. They believe in Trinity, but they cannot defend Trinity. Bob and the rest cartoon is only attack, attack, attack. That is why when I come to Bibles, you know, today I came today, cartoon was having two, two copies of the Quran with a brother, a Muslim brother, who came here not to debate, or oh, there are two Qurans there. What do you say? So when I took our only Bibles here, I said, these are all your Bibles. We have only one Quran. Bible is here. Can we debate? She was shaking. Her two was shaking. And the end, she ran away. She wouldn't debate with me. So that's what they do. So I tell the brothers now, now when they come to you, this is the eye. And you're not prepared. You just come here to watch. Don't debate with them. Because they don't come here, man. They are recording you and waiting for you to make a mistake. Yeah. If you cannot debate with them, don't say anything. Tell them to go to Mansoor. You know, and all the other brothers here. Or they can come to me because I studied their Bible for nearly 10 years. That's why they run away. When I take the Bible out, they don't want to debate. They cannot defend the uh, Trinity about this uh, divinity of Christ, about salvation. I tell them if you want to debate, let's debate about imp important issues. Concept of God in Islam versus the concept of God in Christianity. Or salvation Islam versus salvation in Christianity. That's what people want to know. If I die, where am I going to go? Let's debate about that. What does the Quran say? What does the Bible say? You see what I mean? Or the Bible or the Quran, which one is the word of God? But they will never debate with me. They will just come. Oh, let me ask you, you know your prophet, Marita, uh, uh, Aisha, that's all. That's all they know. Just attack. They're here. You see, when I go there now, look at what them when I go there. When I go, I'm going to go there, you see. They will run away. Trinity, about crucifixion, about resurrection. You read this in the, in the book of Acts, chapter number 5, verse number 42. It says that day after day, in the temple courts, and from house to house, they never stop preaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Christ. That's what you've been telling them. Jesus was the Christ. He was the Messiah sent to the children of Israel. He never said he's God. He never said, worship me. They are following Paul. Paul, they are following. Because you read the Bible, God is telling them in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verses number 3 to 5, you shall have no other God besides me. You shall have no other God besides me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water on the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. They don't read that. God is telling them, worship me alone. But they are worshiping Jesus. This is amazing. This is incredible. And this same message is repeated. In the book of Deuteronomy again, 579, you shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a grave in it or any likeness next or anything that is heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. They said Jesus is the Savior. But in the Old Testament, God said he's the Savior. We asked him, did God change his mind? Did God from the beginning say there's only one Lord? 
God, this is the message he gave to all the prophets. And you're telling me now, later on, he changed his mind. He said, I'm three in one. This is nonsensical, my brothers and sisters. You read the Bible in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 43, verse 10, 10 to 11. Before me, no God was formed, no shall there be any of them. I, I am the Lord. Besides me, there is no Savior. God says in the Old Testament, besides me, there is no Savior. How did Jesus become a Savior? Did God change his mind? Because the Bible said, God is not an order of confusion. In the first Corinthians, yeah? in the first Corinthians, 1433, for God is not an order of confusion. He is confusing. In the beginning, one Lord, one message. And this is the message gave all the prophets. Later on, they say, No, I'm three in one. Then God is confusing. In the Quran, no contradiction. Allah is only one Lord. One. Every single one. One. No God. So here, in the Old Testament, God says one in law. He may always have a worship. Now the Christians now are telling us that now he's three in one. The Father is God. No, the Father is eternal. The Son is eternal. And the Holy Ghost is eternal. The Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost Almighty. The Father is uh, 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 the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But I know three God, one God. I tell them the Bible. It's not in the Bible. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit is not there. Only God the Father. He was 92. If you read the Bible, I'm asking the Christians as well. The Old Testament. When God sent Moses the children of Israel in the book of Exodus 3.15 he said God said to Moses go to the Israelites and say to them the Lord the God of your fathers of Abraham of Isaac of Jacob that God has sent me to you I'm asked which God is that in the Old Testament because the children of Israel didn't know anything about Trinity None of the prophets in the Old Testament taught about the Trinity. Not a single verse. They can't answer it. There is not a single verse in the Old Testament which speaks about Trinity, which prophets about Trinity. It's not there. Not a single verse in the Old Testament which speaks about this concept of original sin. That because of the sin of Adam and Eve, sin entered into the world. And because of that, God sent his son into the world to die for the sin of mankind. This is Paul speaking. This is the fabrication of Paul. You only find this concept of original sin in Paul's writings. Nowhere in the Old Testament. That's what Paul said in the book of uh, Romans, chapter number 5, verse number 12. Why for as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. This is from Paul, not from Jesus, not from any of the prophets. From Paul. Paul further said in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse number 9, did say that for as by one man many were made sinners. Paul said that, not Jesus. Paul is an impostor. Paul is the founder of Christianity because they are following Paul, they are following Jesus. Furthermore, Paul said in the first Corinthians, chapter number, first Corinthians, chapter 15, verse number 20, he said, for as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Who said that? Paul. The concept of Trinity nowhere. Even Jesus debunks that. Jesus told the Christians how to told the children of Israel how to attain salvation. You read it in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verse number 16, 17. A young man came to Jesus and said, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? There is no good but one, which is God. If you would enter life, if you would go to heaven, keep the commandments. Notice, Jesus did not say, if you want to go to heaven, you must believe that I'm God. Neither did he say, if you want to go to heaven, you must believe that I died on the cross for your sins. But, if you want to enter life, you have to obey the commandments. Paul said, no, don't follow the commandments. Just believe. Believe that in the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Who are you following? You're not following Jesus. 
That's what Paul said. Paul said in the book of in, in, in Galatians 2.16, he says that knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. So by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Who said that? Paul, no Jesus, no prophet in the Bible. Paul said that. Furthermore, this is Paul. Paul bars in the law. Furthermore, in Galatians chapter number 2, verse number 21, Paul said that I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ died in vain. Who said that Paul? Not Jesus, not God. That's why we are saying we're inviting you to the religion of the prophets, which is Islam. You can see, Paul is an antichrist. Jesus never abolished the law. Because Jesus said in the Bible, in in the book, uh, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17 to 19, think not that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Next verse. For I tell you, till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever, whoever then breaks one of the least of these command them, commandments and teaches men so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, you can say about Jesus never abolished the law. It's Paul who came with a new religion. Jesus was a Muslim. All the prophets in the Bible were Muslims. They all submitted their will to Almighty God. Every single prophet. Every prophet came with one message, which is worshiping all, Almighty God and not associating any partners with Him. Almighty God is only one Lord. Jesus prayed to God. He worshiped the God. If you read the Bible, I'm going to call a few more verses. If you read the Bible in the Gospel of John 17:3. Jesus said, and this is eternal life, that they might know that you are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom I have sent. Jesus said that Almighty God is only true God. How can He be God? How can Jesus be God? You're telling me there are two gods? A true God and a false God? That's what Jesus said. You read your Bible, Jesus said, Jesus said in the Gospel of uh, John, in the Gospel of John, Jesus said, uh, he said, oh, it's very dark, yeah. F few more, I'm going to call few more verses. Is it a lie? They're trying to fix the light. It's a bit dark here. So as I said, several verses in the Bible, several verses in the Bible, while Jesus make a decision, being oh my God, he cannot be God. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned. Read the Bible. Jesus makes a distinction between him and Almighty God. Read it. The church is deceiving you. Jesus never claimed divinity. None in there. You go to John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was his God, and the word was God. John 1.14. And the word became flesh, and the word among us. I can easily debunk that. John 14, 9, he that has seen me has seen the Father. John 10, 30, and the Father are one. John uh, 8, 58, very, 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 I tell you, before Abraham, Abraham was, I am, all, just, to, just to quote a few, these are the few verses they quote, obscure verses, but we were here to debunk them. Nowhere in the Bible. Jesus prayed to Almighty God. He worshiped that. How can he be God? I, when I come here, I tell them, what is Jesus? They tell me, ah, Jesus is in heaven. Why is he in heaven? He's seated on the right hand of God. How can he be God? You read your Bible, it's in there, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 22, verse number 69. It said that we see now that the Son of Man, that is Jesus, is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven. Now, if Jesus is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven, how can he be God? Are you telling me that he's sitting? He's sitting. I called one day and said, it's Jesus. Jesus is sitting beside himself. 
are saying ridiculous. We are trying to reason with you. That's what the Quran said. And the military says, Kun yahala kitab. Say all people the book. Say all Jews and Christians. Ta'ala ila kalimatin sawa in bena bena kum. That come to common terms as we do. As are you. Allah na'abuta illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nisuka bi ishayi au. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yastik zabadu na abadan arbaba midu nila. That we react not from among ourselves. Lost all patrons. Allah na Allah. Fa'inta Allah. But if they turn away, Fakulu Sadu, then they bear witness, they are now Muslim, that we are Muslims bound to Allah's will. Simple. Jesus was the Messiah, so the children of Israel, he said it, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He never changed until he left this world. Never changed. So what is going on now? As I said, when Jesus left this world. The disciples were preaching for 30 years. They never said they never said anything about Jesus being God. Never. Book of Acts, chapter number five, verse number 42. Acts 5:42. Day after day, from temple to temple and from house to house, they never stopped preaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus was the Christ. Are you telling me that the children of Israel? The Christ they were waiting for was God. I mean, you are mad because in your Bible, God said He's not a man. Hosea 11 9. God said it clear, emphatic, categorical. For I am God, I am not man. But you are telling me that Jesus is fully God and fully man. I'm asking you now, your Bible, why is the single show me a verse in the Bible which says that Jesus is fully God, fully man? He's not there. Show me a single verse from the Bible. Single verse. Where it says that the Father is eternal, the Son is eternal, and the Holy Ghost is eternal. Not there. Show me a single verse in your Bible which says the God that the Father is almighty, the Son is almighty, and the Holy Ghost almighty. It's not there. Show me a single verse which says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But there are not three God, one God. Show me. It's not there. They can't show me here. But they will quote these verses. Because they've been brainwashed. You find this in the Athanasian Creed. The Creed is saying that. But in the Bible, no. You find only God the Father, God the Son. There is not a single verse which speaks about God the Son. There is no God the Son in the Bible. Or God the Holy Spirit. God the Father, yes. My brothers and sisters, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. As I said, the Quran has got 114 surahs from Surah al fatiha Surah to nas And if you want to know about the concept of God in Islam, you go to Surah Ikhlas. Surah Ikhlas is 112 surah. Oh, you say, Kul hu Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah the one. Allah who summat. Allah upon whom all depend. Lam yalid wa lam yilat. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Or lam yakullahu kufu an ad. And there is nothing unto like him. You see, and there is nothing unto like him. When he goes to the Bible, is there. Then how can Jesus be God? When he goes to the Bible, Surah Ikhlas, Chapter number 112, verse number 4. Let me kulla hu kufon ad, and there is nothing unto like him. You go to your Bible, in the book of Exodus, chapter number 9, verse number 14, it says, God said that you may know that there is none like me in the old earth. God says there is none like me in all the earth. So if Jesus is a God, how can he be man? How can, if, Jesus, sorry, if Jesus is man, how can he be God? And God said there is nothing unto like him. He's not a man. Now, brothers and sisters, read your Bible with understanding. Uh, several verses. Go to the Old Testament. You go to the Old Testament. Let me go a few more verses. You go to the Old Testament. Uh, Deuteronomy 6 4. Moses says, Here all is right. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is one Lord. Jesus said the same thing. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. The Lord our God is one Lord. The God our Lord, the God our Lord, the Lord is one. The Lord is one. This is simple, plain English. The Lord is one, not two, not three, not one and a half, not three in one, not one with a mystery attached to one one, but only one. 
the Lord is one. The Bible, the only verse nearest to the concept of Trinity is in the first field of John, chapter number five, verse number seven. We said, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But when you read here, the Revised Standard Version, the RSV, here, so, the Revised Standard Version, 32 scholars of high, and this is your Bible, 32 scholars of highest eminence, backed by 50 corporate denominations, wrote this book, they said, John, they said, begotten, this, these three are one, they chalk it out. First Epilogue of John 5 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. They took it out. They said they are not one. John 3 16. Begotten, they chalk it out. They said it was not in the earliest manuscripts. So somebody is playing with the Word of God. Let me read what he said. Revised standard version. This is what it says about King James Version. Revised standard version. This is what it says about King James Version. It says, Yet the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts more ancient than those upon which the King James Version was based made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious as to cause for revision of the English translation. The task was undertaken by authority of the Church of England in 1870. My brothers and sisters, millions of people read this King James Version. They rely on that. But the Revised Standard Version said it has a great defect. And look at how many Bibles I've got. They are not the same. We have only one Quran, 114 surahs. 6,236 verses. No addition, no deletion. No contradictions. You can find it here. Today, if all the Qurans, if you burn them or they disappear, people will sit down and produce it from their head. Millions of people memorize the Quran in there. You cannot, there's no one in the, in the world who has memorized these Bibles. No. And I say the Bibles here, so they are not the same, my brothers and sisters. Why is the original Bible? And it's full of additions and deletions and contradictions. Only one Quran. And it has been preserved. Allah said, it's all a hijr. Chapter number 15, verse number 9. We have sent out the message, i.e. the Quran, and we will assuredly guard it from corruption. No corruption in the Quran. I come here, you have Hatun and Bob lying to people, or you have many different Qurans, so many verses. I tell them, bring them here. I come here with the Bibles. And I show you contradictions and additions and deletions. Bring those Qurans. We compare with this one, we see if there is more than one Quran. But they cannot. They only lie to people. Brothers and sisters, in humanity, they are deceiving you. The DCCI group, Hatun, Bob, and the rest are just deceivers. For them on the Quran, I said the Quran is preserved. If you read the God's Quran, Allah said, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 82, it says that, is that, that will they not will not will they not then understand the Quran? Had it been had it been from other than Allah, they would surely have found there in many a contradiction contradiction. al Quran. Wallaquana mean in the Gari Lahi La Wajuru, see Hikila, Sankasira. Do they not reflect on the Quran? Do they not read and understand the Quran? Had it been from Adam and Allah, they would surely have found therein many a contradiction. No contradiction, no addition, no deletion.
as I said, 114 surahs from al to an-Nais, 6,236 verses. No addition, no deletion, unlike the Bible. So I'm going to end this. Uh, with a quotation from the Holy Quran, from Surah Al Imran 364, it says, Kul Yahal Kitab. Say, O oh, 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 people of the book, say, O oh, Jews and Christians, Ta'ala ila kalimadin sawa and bena bena kum, that come to common terms as with as and you, Allah nabuda illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nusukabi ikshayao. That we associate no partners with Him. Wala yatak no badin abadan arbaba midullah. That we erect not from among ourselves, lords and patrons, other Allah. For into our love, but if they turn away for Kulu Sadu, then bear witness, we are now Muslim, that we are Muslims bound to Allah's will. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin.